Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. We're going for it, folks. We're going for a world record attempt here. We're going to hop off this. I don't know how this is going to react since this thing is... Or it does have a stabilizer on it, so... Let's go... <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, that went swell. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Scrap Mechanic, and yes folks, Scrap Mechanic Creations is finally back. And as you can see behind me, we probably have one of the biggest ships that I have ever seen here in Scrap Mechanic, and yes folks, it does fly, and it is absolutely glorious. So we're going to be checking out some creations, I will link them all down in the description if you want to play with anything that you see in this episode here today. And if you have any suggestions for future themes and or builds in Scrap Mechanic, comment below. And if you're enjoying Scrap Mechanic on the channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it helps out my channel. And let's do this. Uh, the Komodo Gaming will cover, I need to turn that off, that's a little annoying, the, uh, the electric motor there. So, Mr. Lady Skelebro 69 has created probably one of the most epic ships that I've ever seen. Now, this isn't a combat ship, this is a refueler, so I guess think of it like a huge oil tanker, except for, for space. And one thing that's absolutely impressed me about this, check this out, hold on, let me get to the middle, boom. That is a spider web. That actually is not bad at all. So I guarantee you that a lot of you guys would be able to run this ship on your computer. Now, sometimes I get uh, some of his other ships that are a little bit more laggy. I uh, get some working doors and stuff like that. But this is pretty minimal. So I'm actually really impressed here. So design wise, it's extremely long. It's not that tall. Uh, but definitely probably the longest ship that I've ever seen. Uh, where do we get into this thing at? Can we just hop over the side here? Guess we can. All right. So, the interior. He says there's some surprises, some little areas. You just kind of have to explore it yourself. Now, how would this thing exactly work? I'm assuming these are the fuel tanks. It's got a very complex uh, piping system under it. You can see, like, these green pipes that are running. It looks like they're all connected in. This is just fantastic looking. Like, that is some really, really awesome design work. Uh, let's go towards the middle. So you got this middle platform. This leads back. Okay, so this is the back of the ship. I got to get kind of oriented and figure out exactly where I am. All right, so we can walk to the front. So you got the tanks in the back. Now, I do believe there's tanks in the front, too. So we can walk around here, go around the deck. Okay, how do we get to the front is the question. Or can you walk there? All right, so here's the main area. So this is where we're going to fly from the right side. Very cool looking. Do all these buttons... Ooh, these do... Okay, these are hooked into the cockpit, but these do have functions to them. That's awesome. All right, so we can walk down here. So here's like a little lounge area, crew quarters. All right, so this could be a uh, kind of like an oil tanker, like I said. Uh, long trips here, so you can have crews uh, kind of swap in and out. Uh, tons of controls, vending machines, or maybe those are just, maybe it's the fridge with the drinks in it. I'm not really sure. Uh, you got a couple lounge areas, got nice windows set up here. Very, very awesome. I love the little, like, sky roof here. Uh, so we can walk out here, and this looks like it's, okay, more tanks. You've got some valves, piping systems. Uh, I used to actually do, wait, what does that say? Uh, is that stand for something? On. I'm trying to get under this Thula A01 I believe is what that is or A07 I can't hardly tell uh, but yeah very cool looking pretty cool systems I like little piping mazes I kind of did this in a couple of my builds with like the farm bot stuff uh, are we supposed to be able to go up there I see the ladder but obviously ladders don't work in scrap mechanic uh, we'll check out the top of the ship here in a second all right so lady skelet bro let's go ahead hop into the pilot seat here just check out the design even on top of the ship it's just fantastic looking the colors uh, the pipe pieces some of the vanilla pieces that he's used in here very very good looking all right so I'm ready to take off I'm assuming one key is gonna be our hover Let's see how this thing lifts off the ground. Okay, are we hovering? Yes, we are. Okay, we are barely above the ground. I think his W keys is up, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go. Two keys going to be a reverse, so maybe it's a WASD flyer. Three keys, you're forward, so that kind of eliminated the WASD part. 
And, ooh, okay, so four is your lift. So this thing does have a gyro system in it. Uh, it is going to be stable, so as soon as we get it in the air, we should be able to walk around. I'm assuming AD turns it. Yes, it does. W, okay, W is forward, so you can do it that way, too. That is nice. Okay, and what is, so it doesn't appear that S has a feature. Uh, let's just climb in the air here. Oh, that is sick looking. Let's check that out. I really wish Scrap Mechanic's uh, camera could go out a little bit further. Just to give you guys a little uh, bit of perspective on this. Uh, this kind of reminds me of like a Stormworks thing where it's just so big and epic. Hold on, can we, uh, ooh, that might be a problem. I kind of want to hop out of this seat, but I'm afraid I'm going to fly out the roof. Hold on. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come on. Oh, is there, there needs to be a seat close. There we go. All right, so we are hovering. Are we falling is the question. Ooh, we appear to be listing to one side a bit. Oh, we're going to walk out here. All right. Normally his crafts, once they get in the air, they're stable. Yeah, there's, this is stable. It, eh, we're falling a little bit, but I think it could be the whole fact that we're leaning to the right a bit. But still, plenty fine to walk around on when in the air. Uh, this would be cool in multiplayer, say if you get you and a bunch of buddies, if the uh, multiplayer could handle it, you and your guys, uh, maybe go to like a space map and sit there and have a little space adventure. Uh, could be very, very awesome. But yeah, really, really digging this. Uh, I always look forward to Mr. Lady Skelebro's creations because he is probably one of the most amazing ship builders in uh, Scrap Mechanic. Like everything from the big ones, the small ones, uh, you've got a variety, combat ones, some that carry cars in them or, or rovers. So overall, very impressive ship. But anyways, I think we are ready to go ahead. We're going to move on to the next thing because we have one more of his creations that I do want to check out. And I believe we're going to need to do that on a terrain world. All right. So I told you guys we're going to check out something else from Lady Skelebro. We have the future tourer, I believe. Am I saying that right? Is that a thing? Okay. Uh, this is a very cool, it's a, kind of a luxurious speed style. Think of it being like the Bugatti of hovercraft. So, let's see. We've got controls here. Rolls, pitch up, hatch, landing gear. I got this. Komodo's always got this. All right, let's go ahead and drop that. Oh, it's got landing gear on it. Okay. <laughs> kind of thought it was going to immediately start hovering. That is nice. Look at that design. Uh, very cool. All right, so we got the Bugatti of uh, spacecraft here. Uh, is there anything else we should look at? Is it just two two seaters? I think it is. All right, so he always drives from the right hand side. I gotta remember that. Dude, that is cool looking. Hold on, let's get down here. Oh yeah, that's a very cool looking design. Even the interior, just uh, very detailed. Okay, so let's go ahead and go. Wait, wait. Okay, one of these is going to actually... Uh, I really probably should have paid more attention to the to the actual buttons. There we go. I was looking for that. Okay, so now I do believe this one incorporates the wing mod in it. You can see the wings in the back. It looks kind of like a spoiler, which it slightly lifted there. There you go. So that can go up like that. It can go down. Okay. All right, I totally got this. All right, let's go ahead and start driving. Uh-oh. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's just click all the buttons real quick. What did I do wrong? Oh boy. There it goes. There it goes. Oh, is this supposed to hover? Oh, jeez. I think this thing's supposed to fly. You know, I'm not very good with compact flyers. Hold on. Hold on. I got this. I got this. Just turn. Just turn. Okay, just lift. Oh, that hurt. Okay, come on. Come on. No, that's cockpit. There we go. Okay, that should be lifting. There we go. Dude, that's incredible. Okay, we're good. This is a flyer. This is not a hover. A hovercraft like I thought it was. Okay. All right. What is poking out the box? Is that the scrap guy's butt? No, that's the that's the backpack. Okay, never mind. All right, so you can roll this. Dude, that is incredible. All right, roll that way. Roll that way. Ooh, do a little spin here. Oh, that might have been too aggressive. Too aggressive. No, 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 no. Up, 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 up. You got to be quick on the controls here. Uh, Komodo and quick don't go together, unfortunately. Huh? Let's go... Spin it around. Oh, that is glorious looking. All right, spin back that way. There we go. Whoop. There we go. Very awesome. Very, very awesome craft. Yeah, I think if you get this on the right control scheme, like custom map buttons, you would have no issues whatsoever. And this thing flies like a beast. 
All right, so as far as I can tell, the only aerodynamic pieces are the back wing. So it's turning is... What is it turning off of? Maybe thrusters is helping it turn? I'm not 100% sure, to be honest with you guys. Uh, this one's kind of got my mind blown. Uh-oh, uh we might not make this one. Oh, that was a tree. That was a tree. We're good. We're good. Wait, oh, the, uh, the landing gear automatically comes out. Okay, that's good to know. Yeah, I've never seen a craft just gracefully lift up like this. Like, this is a beautiful use of the, uh, the wing mod. Alright, let's go straight. Eh, it's almost straight vertical. Alright, climb, 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 and then... Oh, buddy. Roll it, roll it, there we go. Yes! Oh, that is satisfying to see. Alright, we'll do like a bank turn here. All right, I'm getting better at this. I really am. I was kind of afraid there for a second. Like, man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fly this. Oh, yeah, beautiful. Okay, so let's uh, let's go ahead and somewhat... No, I don't want to kill it here. Uh, let's get a little above, a little above. Oh, that's that. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can glide down to a landing. Uh oh pull up, pull up. Oh, come on! That was, that was good enough. Wow. It's a good ride. Very sweet. So yeah, Lady Skelebro, that... Yeah, mine's blown. Alright, let's move on to the next one. Alright, so the next creation we're going to be checking out here, this is by a awesome person called Santa. I uh, forgot what his name was before. <laughs> he had a name, uh, we've checked out a couple of his creations before. This is a cafe racer, so... A little bitty bike! Uh, I mean, it's not really a cafe racer, it's not really a small motor, so I guess it is a little bit smaller, but... This is like the perfect skill for the scrap mechanic character. I like this. Hold on, let's hop on it. Dude, it actually looks like he's, well, he's a little, little short on the arms, but it almost looks like he's holding on to it. Uh, ooh, look at that lean. Dude, you know what? I just thought about it. A motorcycle race and scrap mechanic could be very cool. Get like the right track to do it. I don't know if these things lag when they get close to each other. Sometimes when, uh... When you get a lot of bearings, which I don't think this really has a lot of bearings, maybe four or five. I think maybe that would be possible. This would be cool, though. Uh, maybe on a paved track, or I guess if you had the correct off-road track. Ooh, this thing gets really aggressive on its turning. Actually, look at the uh, look at the front suspension. Look how that's actually working. Oh, wait, is that not a part of that? Doesn't even look like it's attached. Huh, that's weird. Uh oh, oh, we're in the death wobbles. Death wobbles. Okay, just stop. Quit leaning. Quit. Quit. Quit that. Stop it. Stop. How if we hop off this? Okay, there it goes. Huh, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, nine. Two. Ooh. That might be too many bearings. I don't know. Uh, maybe Scrap Mechanic can handle more bearings now. Oh, uh, let's get moving. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to hop off that. Oh, boy. That could have been bad. All right. Does this have a decent first person? It's not too bad. You know, actually, one of those bearings is really the uh, the gas tank lid or cap. Uh, hold on, let's get through here. Let's find a. This might be a trail we can take. We we'll kind of find a little bit more of a natural road that we can actually uh, drive around on, and it not look uh, like I'm leaning constantly. Oh yeah, that's uh that's pretty satisfying actually. This thing drives rather well. I do like the lean. Like I've seen some uh, motorcycles and scrap mechanic where. It seems like there is no lean. It's like on some weird suspension glitch. So the, the bike kind of just spins in place and that's how you turn. But uh, this is like perfected the actual look of leaning. And I think I'm stuck here. Come on. Come on. Just got to get the power down. Oh, we're stuck. Okay. You know what? We're going to hop off this. Let's go ahead and put this right here. We're going for it, folks. We're going for a world record attempt here. We're going to hop off this. I don't know how this is going to react since this thing is... Or it does have a stabilizer on it, so... Let's go... <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh, that went swell. You know, uh, Santa's actually been... I know it's kind of odd to say. He's uh, really, really good at uh, creations like this. The balanced creations. Uh, he's done a lot of mechs uh, before, and they're all extremely awesome. They walk uh, fully balanced... So if you ever want to have like a mech or something like these motorcycles, I think he's done another motorcycle before. Uh, definitely go check out his workshop because it is well worth it when it comes to uh, creations like this. And can we hit this jump? I need a boost button. I need a turbo. Are we going to clear it? Uh... <laughs> oh, you know, I almost feel like we could hit that jump and make it. 
I just need a bit more run up. All right, it's very possible this could satisfy my jumping here. Let's go ahead, pick up some speed. We're going for it, folks. Oh, we just spun out. Okay, we're good. Just keep the speed. Got the need for speed here, folks. I'm gonna go for the left side of the ramp, not the tree, not the tree. Okay, the bumps on this are absolutely brutal. Here we go. Here we go. No! <laughs> Keep your foot in it! Keep your foot in it! No! That was worse than the first attempt! <laughs> okay, maybe Komodo is just not meant to jump here. Still, nonetheless, it's a uh, very, very cool creation. You know, I'd like to actually see, uh, I don't know if any of you guys know about the flat tracks uh, they do with the kind of bikes like this, look a little bit more like dirt bikes. Uh, but they're flat ovals, and and during the corner, they just get completely sideways. Like, like the back end of the bike is completely kicked out, and they're counter-steering the whole time. Looks like just a big epic drift. All right, we're going for one last one, because obviously the first one went so swell, we could totally jump to the other side of the canyon, right? All right, canyon jump. Come on. Come on. I feel like we need a thruster on this. No! 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 <laughs> Wait, we made it! We made it! Uh, okay, we made it somewhat. This is not ideal. Hold on, can I hop off without falling? Yes, we made it. Hold on, I gotta stand on the bike. Oh, I think we're stuck. Hold on, uh, get up here. No, no. All right, well, my uh, evil Knievel days are over. I should probably move on to the next creation. Very cool creation, though. Uh, strongly suggest checking out his workshop, like I said. All right. Alright, the next creation is a Jeep Wagner 1965. This is by Bush and I believe Edvin. Or is his name Bush now? No, it's Bush and the suspension was made by Edvin. Alright, so this has a very... If it's made by Edvin or if it has anything to do with Edvin, it's got a very complicated suspension, which you can see under it right there. This is, uh, this is actually gorgeous looking. Like This looks like the actual Jeep, huh? Oh, that is big. Oh, <laughs> Oh, okay, I didn't know what the scale was, but this looks like a child is about to drive this Jeep. Everybody needs to back off. That is fantastic looking. Look at the grill. Look at the detail, the bumper, the hood area. What's the interior look like? Oh, yes. Beautiful design, and look at the amount of bearings. Wow. All right, we got to totally try this thing out because I like this a lot. Let's go ahead and what is the interior? You know, that's actually not bad. That looks like from the first person that it is perfect uh, scale-wise. Now, you know the character actually doesn't look that bad. I, I wonder if maybe the scaling had a little bit more to do with the whole fact that it's jacked up uh, with the big beefy suspension. Uh, that might be it. Oh, let's get moving. Yeah, it's an Edvin suspension. Check that thing out. That is crazy looking. Oh, these are beautiful suspension pieces. Uh, once we start going up these hills and stuff, you'll really see how this thing works. Uh, let's go up. Oh, yeah, the compression, the movement, the side to side. That is just absolutely glorious looking. That's kind of cool, though. You can see, like, the front axle, how everything's hooked up. Is the steering actually... Wait a minute. Is the steering actually done? Oh, wait. That might actually be done with the steering rod. Or is that the rod? Actually, I'm trying to figure out how this thing's working. Okay, you know, actually, this front piece, everything does move. I was trying to figure out, like, normally, sometimes you see really fancy suspension. Is that not hooked up? Oh, those aren't hooked up. Uh, a lot of times you do see a uh, pretty fancy suspension, but it's actually the steering itself is pretty basic. But yeah, this is the full deal here. Whee! Oh, that is sweet. That feels, it feels so good to drive. Like, there's not that many things in Scrap Mechanic where when you drive it around, you're like, this is cool. Like most stuff's really just bouncy. It doesn't interact very well with the uh, with the terrain, but not this. Yeah, you're definitely you can power over about anything. There it goes, catches the back. That is a rock though. You can't power over that rock. Just forget that. Oh, that is glorious. Very very nice uh, Jeep here. Oh boy. All right. Well, we've got I believe one more thing to check out here. All right, so for our last creation here now, I know I mentioned a Bugatti earlier because we were checking out the uh, Lady Skelebro Future Tourer thingy, but this is made by Ugly Dankling, and this is a Bugatti. And what? Why does it? Why does it have spuds on it? What's? Is that a backfire or something? What is that, dude? That is sweet looking. It's again a bigger car uh, than your kid character, but. Uh, the bigger the cars you build, I know Moombo kind of does this a little bit. It's actually the more detail you can get because look at that. 
That is fantastic. Brake lights, turn signals. It looks like we're going back to the future in the back there. I don't, like, like I can't even explain what is going on under here. Hold on, let's pick this up real quick. Why is there, okay, there's the engine, the engine detail. Is it a backfire or what is that? Like, I can picture that being a backfire noise, but I know it's not spud powered. That'd be nuts. Oh, let's hop up here. Actually, do the doors, oh, how does this work? <laughs> Hold on, there's gotta be a way into this. Uh, Mr. Character Dude can't find his way in. All right, so roof hatch, I'm assuming, right? Right, okay, so we get in by, whoa, 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 okay. Close that, okay. Oh, it's thruster powered. Okay, so it's got an engine, it's got a thrust booster. Three is, what is this, a spy car? Dude, it's equipped with, oh, that is awesome. It's got automatic spud cannons on it. And then you got your headlights. Hold on, does this thing, do the turn signals? Oh, the brake lights work. Okay, so those work, do the turn, oh, the turn signals work too. That is crazy. That is probably one of the coolest cars ever. All right, let's go ahead and start those up. We got a full blown spy car, so they roll up on somebody, hold on, let's close those. Let those go in. Now, if you're wondering how that goes through the, the hood like that, the pistons, when they're extended, the actual bar piece uh, doesn't have a collision, so you can go through objects. So that's why you can go, boom, activate spy mode here. Yes. And then we just start firing. That is crazy. Yeah, we have a full-blown spy car here, or just a combat car. I don't know what you want to call it, but I picture this being a pretty cool uh, spy car. Maybe James Bond should just drive this. Yeah, I must say, uh, he's also stuffed a, uh, a really good suspension in there. Hold on, let's close that. Like, it's got a, it's definitely no slouch when it comes to suspension. It looks like it's an arm suspension, or maybe possibly a wishbone. I can't really see it, uh, but very, very good. Like, it handles good. It's doing the terrain pretty well. Uh, this might be something you can race around. Like I said, everything kind of boils down to uh, the bearing count uh, when it comes to you and your friends getting to have fun. Because I guarantee if you put, like, say, two of the last Jeep together side by side, you would get probably more lag than two of those big ships that we saw at the first of it. Because those that big ship had, like, no pistons and no bearings. Uh, sure, it was a big area, but I still think that it would run better than when you get something with a lot of bearings. Uh, it's just a weird thing about scrap mechanic. Which I know is only going to get better, hopefully. Oh, that jump looks like it's that's tempting. There's no run up to that one. Uh... Actually, we got the little half pipe thing here. Let's fly through here. Whoa, there we go. That is awesome. All right. You know, the only thing this thing needs now, it needs a set of wings that shoot out the side we can actually take off. Like, that would be the ultimate in spy technology there. Or a stealth mode. You know, that could actually be pretty cool. If you use the invisible blocks, if you had the right pieces for your car, you can click the button and make them all disappear. Go in, like, full-blown Wonder Woman invisible jet mode. All right, folks, we got some speed. Let's go up oh, thrusters. Oh, yes. Oh, this thing's good. All right, yeah, this speed boost. I kind of forgot about it. Oh, this is working. This is working. That's a tree on. Uh oh, oh, we take it off on. Can't rotate. Go back. Oh, no, I jumped out of it. Oops. Ha. Yeah, that needs uh, some sort of maybe mid air roll system where you can actually turn it over. That is cool. That is very, very cool. So yeah, that's uh, the Ugly Dankling, which I know we've checked out some of his stuff before. Wow, that is a beast. Plus, aesthetically, very, very nice to look at. Uh, one last thing, we gotta look into the interior. I didn't actually really check that out. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Oh, actually, I like that uh, speedometer there. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Very cool. But anyways, folks, I think it's going to wrap it up for this episode of Scrap Mechanic Creations. If you want to send anything to the channel, please join the Discord. And I want to thank all the creators for all the awesome creations here. I want to thank you guys for the love and support on Scrap Mechanic here on the channel. So yeah, hope you guys have a great day, and we will see you guys next time.